Hello everyone. So today I'm going to demo how to install my various body tracking projects. For this video I'll demo the latest one, but it should work for the older ones just as well, with some minor modifications. So let's open up the video, pause it. I will usually always put the download link in the video description, so just click that. We open up the GitHub repository. So here's the repository for this project. And you scroll down and you'll find here the install instructions. So I'm just going to go through each of the instructions and show you how you're supposed to install it. Now uh, these instructions might change depending on which video you're following, but it's roughly the same every time. So the first thing I'm going to do is install Python. And I'll download the latest Windows version and press that. So this is important. Uh, you should check this value here to add Python to path. And then we will also make sure that this is checked, install pip. And this should look okay. So we hit install now. And then we wait for it to complete. Okay, so now the setup for Python is complete. So we can close that. Now, if we go back to the instructions, the next thing we should do is install Unity. So we're not going to use this. This will just download the standalone one. Instead, we're going to download Unity Hub. So if you scroll down, you'll find this here. And you hit download for Windows or whatever you're using. This one is pretty straightforward. And we'll just run Unity as well because we need to get the correct version. And the version is listed in here. You can see it here. I already installed the correct versions, but to install them, you would go here, installs. And then here you would go install editor. And then you could select the version from here. You would likely maybe use this latest version, but you can also get the exact version you want by going into the archive and you visit the download archive. And you should be able to find them in here. If you just look through here, you'll be able to find that and you just click the Unity Hub link and that should open it up for you. So next we're gonna run this command, pip install media pipe. To do that, we're gonna open the command prompt like this. And then we can type in here pip and see that it's working. So we type now pip install media pipe. This will install everything that you need for that. I've already installed it before, so it's already done everything there for me, but for yours, it might take a while. You just wait for it to complete. So after we've completed these two steps, next we need to download this repository. And to do that, you just scroll up and you'll see here this code button. You press that and then you click here, download zip. And just wait for it to download. There it is. So I already created this folder for us, install folder. So you can just drag the entire thing into there. So you open it and inside here you can see, so this is the Python code, which will run media pipe. And here's the Unity project. So let's go back to the install instructions and see what they say. So it says here, run main.py using Python. So we need to find where that is right here, main.py. So we want to first go into that directory. To do that, we'll go back to command prompt or just open a new window and type. Well, first we'll copy this directory here and we'll go CD and paste in the directory. Okay, and now we have a command prompt open inside of here. And then we will type pi main dot pi. And now we just wait. And it's starting to run now the Python side of the project. So you can see here that the project is running. It'll open up this window for you by default. And this will be 
So if I'm in a good pose, it will start to track me. You can see that. Here's some additional information for you you can use. To close it, all you have to do is just close the window and that'll close the Python part of it. Uh, so the next step says to run the Unity project. So we'll open Unity Hub like this. And then we click projects, we'll click, make sure you're on the projects tab and then click open. Then go to the directory where you install the project. As you can see, it's the same install folder. Open it and you click this part, the Unity Media Pipe Avatar. Select open. And now it's opening the project there on Unity. So just wait for it. And sometimes it will take a little while, but you just have to wait for the process to complete. Eventually it'll finish doing everything and then you can maximize that. So here's the actual product that's been open, but in order to go to the correct scene, you need to go into here, assets, scenes, and sample scene, and just open that. So here's the actual scene, which you saw in the YouTube video before. You can move around in it. So to actually run the project now, we can go back into our instructions. So what we've done so far is one through five. We've installed Python and Unity. We've installed MediaPipe. We've downloaded this repository. We've already tested doing that and we're done that already. So now what we're gonna do is let's follow the instructions exactly. So first we're gonna run the Python version. So we're going to go back to our install folder, open that. Here's the main.py it's talking about. So we will again open up command prompt and then put the command prompt into that directory and then type in pi main.py. So now that this is running and it's showing all this, it says here, waiting for Unity project to run. So we just go back into Unity now, and we just press this button here, play. So if you open up the console here, you can see some messages, and it says you're waiting for connection, and then eventually connects. And if we look back at the command prompt, you can see that it's no longer waiting for the Unity project. It's just showing what frame per second it's cap the camera's capturing and stuff. So for this particular project, you actually have to do a calibration step and you can just follow the on-screen instructions here and you can also maximize it like I'm doing here, like this. So all we do is we just have to calibrate, press C, it says, so I'll press C. And what you have to do here is copy this T-pose on the camera. I'm not in a position where I can do that, but you can do that. And eventually it'll just calibrate and then you could move around on the screen and the avatar would also move. And then when you're done, all you have to do is just close the windows. You can close that. And you can also close this and that'll close everything up correctly. Yeah, and you can see that I posted that instruction, which I just mentioned right here. So really all you have to do is just follow these instructions and I just demoed the most confusing parts, I would say, installing Python Unity as well as actually how to put in the project and run it. But yeah, everything should be working after that. And if anything isn't working, then feel free to leave a comment and I'll try to answer it. Well, that's it for this video. I hope that tutorial is helpful. And of course, you can just comment below and all the links are in the description.